Hi guys, so I'm just about to um, put this middle section of my hair into pick and drop braids so I just thought I'd do a quick video because it might help someone out there. So before I do the braiding I'm just going to apply some castor oil to my hair as well as this olive oil um, kids therapy treatment. Both of them I've just picked up recently from my hair store. So just a little oil. Alright, so I finished doing the hot comb in. Um, the reason I did that is just so it better blends with the hair when I braid it. And I've gone ahead and already done my middle part. So I'll be working on one half at a time. So I'm just going to clip down this half. The hair I'm using for this is the same um, weave as the U part. Um, but because I'm going to be braiding, I'm just going to have to cut off the top part. So literally bit by bit, I'll just cut off this and use it as um, extensions for the braids. like so so all these parts are straight as you can see and then this part is curly but to get rid of this straight end I'm just gonna pull So here is um, a section of hair that I'm going to be taking from to do the tiny braids. This time I like to start from the back and I'm just going to pick a very, not very tiny, it depends how big you want it. I want them quite small. So literally a section about that big. Yeah. So from this hair that I did earlier, I'm just going to take some of it, about that much, and break off a smaller part. And you know the deal of when you're doing braids, just create this kind of loop thing. Alright, so this is just going to be an example of one of them. So taking this small part which I sectioned earlier and this loop which I had from before, put that down at the root and then the part of my hair I'm just taking a little section of it and joining with the extension and hold it together to start the braid. And then I'm splitting the extension here into two and holding it with the part of my hair and starting the braid. And you want the base to be very solid so you're holding your, the extension and you'll put together quite tightly. With the knot in, I just take one of the sections. So I've got three sections here. I just take one of the sections 
and then I take part of it so I've taken this and I'm just going to wrap it around the head and pull it through to make a knot so that's my plan so I've nearly finished this side as you can see I've just got the final um, little part remaining which is sticking up so I thought I'll come back on camera and show you guys this one in case you didn't see the one um, that I did at the back so same principle you just have to grip it slightly tighter as the hair is smaller Hi guys, so I couldn't um, record myself whilst doing it because it was just too hard for me to do and yeah so the parts that I did manage to record hopefully they would have been previously, you would have previously seen them in the video but this is the end result, um, I'm just going to add some smooth and hold pudding just to the front of my hair because some of my natural hair is kind of like spiked up, the camera you can kind of see it's kind of spiky, I'm just going to add it here around the edge and a little bit from my actual hair And then to flatten it down, I'm just going to tie this scarf for like five minutes, if that. Just to flatten it and give it a need to finish. So it's flat or flatter now and just play with it until you get it to look like what you want and the top here you just have to move it around to cover the tracks so yeah that's the middle part in you can flick some to the other side if you don't want a part in yeah you can just kind of work with it but I'm gonna leave it as the middle part for now. I hope you liked the video, I hope it helped, and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.